and welcome to HomePro. My name is Brandy. Today, we are going to show you how to troubleshoot, address, and correct a bag full indicator on a Windsor Sensor XP vacuum. The indicator lights on your Windsor Sensor XP vacuum notify you of any issues your machine may incur while in use. If the bag full or clog indicator light illuminates while vacuuming, this is an indication that there is a restriction of airflow in your vacuum. The most common cause is simply an overfilled vacuum filter bag. However, there are a few other possibilities that we will cover here. First, let's begin by replacing the filter bag. Even if your bag does not appear to be full, fine dust and soil may be causing a blockage of airflow through the bag, causing the light to turn on. Now that the bag is replaced, turn the vacuum on again and see if the indicator returns. If the light still illuminates, we'll check and possibly replace the vacuum filters. Once the filters have been rolled out, we'll check our vacuum hose for obstructions. Begin by removing the hose from the extension tube. Then, by pressing the release on the hose retaining ring, completely remove the hose from the bag housing. Check the hose by hanging it toward the ground and simply look through it. You should see daylight and nothing in the hose. If there is an obstruction, you'll want to remove the object carefully so as not to damage the hose. Bobby pins, paper clips, and other rigid objects can become lodged in the hose, causing debris to build up and cut off the airflow. Before inserting anything into the hose to clear the clog, let's try to use the vacuum itself to clear the clog by reversing the direction of the hose. With the tapered cuff inserted into the bag housing inlet, turn the vacuum on. Now, stretch the hose straight up in the air. This usually does the trick. Be sure that you inspect the hose again before reinstalling. If the hose does not have a clog, we'll move down to the swivel neck and power head to check for obstructions. If an object is in the swivel neck, you can often use the vacuum's crevice tool to reach deeper into the head. The Sensor XP's access door is located on the bottom of the chassis which will give you direct access to the lower part of the swivel neck and power head. Recline the swivel neck to about 45 degrees and use your finger to sweep the opening. If no clog is present in the swivel neck, we'll move on to the vacuum shoe. Removing the brush roller and the rear bottom plate may be necessary if the obstruction is significant enough. If no clog exists within the system, it is possible that the bag full indicator needs adjustment. A good way to quickly rule out any clog issues is to remove the bag housing cover and turn the machine on. If the bag full indicator illuminates with the cover off, your sensor likely needs an adjustment. Remember, you must have a new filter bag and fresh filters when calibrating this sensor. Begin by removing the power head cover. With the power head cover removed, you can reinstall the bag housing and plug the vacuum into power. Using a small screwdriver, we'll adjust the potentiometer on the PC board. Make small adjustments when calibrating the sensor. With your hand covering about 80% of the opening on the end of the hose, the light should turn on. When you uncover the hose completely, the light should turn off. Once the sensor is adjusted properly, reassemble the vacuum. Be sure to run the vacuum under normal conditions before returning the machine back into service. Thanks for watching. We appreciate your visit. If you would like to see more instructional videos or get additional information, please visit our website online at homeprovacuum.com.